Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in our parallel playthrough of the Tour de France 2021 in Pro Cycling Manager 2021 and off we go to today's stage which is number 12, a sprinter stage but there is one of those nasty wind zones once again this time around, only uh, slightly more than 20 kilometers instead of what was it, 57. Uh, nonsense! Nonsense that. So uh, our riders have suffered in the more one two stage, especially our lead rider who had a fall right at the end and that cost him two minutes in the general classification. Two minutes that hurt extra bad when you see that uh, we are four minutes 38 down and um, yeah fourth place would have been where we are at. Anyway, it looks more and more like we want to try and uh, grab the green jersey with Julien Alaphilippe instead of Ballerini, and Ballerini is quite quite a ways down. Well, in sixth, he has as much chances there to beat Alaphilippe as Alaphilippe has chances to beat Primoz Roglic. Not that many. Hello, cycling fans everywhere. The road leading to Nîmes should be relatively easy on the peloton. The race should only come alive in the final phase, when the sprint teams go to work to set up a mass sprint finish. Alright, there we are. Uh, today looking pretty solid for Ballerini and uh, about twice that but uh, the opposite for Alaphilippe. That is pretty awful actually. But today is not the stage where he's going to lose a lot of time. I don't think this section is necessarily hard enough for draining all his stamina, but we shall see. He's going to hide in the peloton for most of the day anyway. I think what we are going to try here is to send out the clerk, but yeah, he's not quite far enough forward to directly join the first group that is going, I don't believe. Uh, could you please move out of the way? This is ridiculous. Come on, let me out. Come on, let me out. There, there we go. Uh, okay. So can we can we join them? Can we join them? N no, they are insta chasing me. Oh, uh huh. I think, I think we could be getting away with the next train. There, there will be another another try here. There we go. Let's go. Up. Uh, yup. Who is this bastard? Completely fucking blocked me. But uh, off we go. And we are dragging ourselves up to the little escape. And no, the... Um, oh, for fuck's sake, come on. They're going again. Don't they like the clerk in this group? Uh, hello? Okay, now? Maybe? Are we getting away? Why are you guys chasing me down? Okay, I, I'm going to try it by myself. So uh, let's let's get away, and let's low low speed attack this and see if they are actually chasing me. It, nah, does it seem like it? Maybe. Yeah, they are just hard chasing me. So yeah, I I'll give up for today. This is um, not going to go anywhere with the clerk. Supposedly he's too strong a rider for this one. No escapees up front right now. So they've completely reset the, the race. That is rather hectic at the moment. Okay, there are just four riders up front, which means there will be plenty of points still available at the uh, intermediate sprint. And what I'm going to do is to take Ballerini to um, lead out Alaphilippe. If Alaphilippe, please, could just fucking move to the front, he's moving backwards. What is going on? Alright, uh, anyway, we have 5.6k to go. Ballerini is in a decent spot, but a little uh, tied in there. And Alaphilippe is now coming up. So you attach to Ballerini. And Merkov, let's get to the other side. There you go. Okay, now. And Merkov is being leading out for us. So um, we do have another 4.5k. Let's get to the front. Let's make a little sprint train right there. Ah, oh, you... Don't, don't get smothered in there at the side. Just move clear, please. 
Okay, uh, 2.9k. Let's accelerate a bit. Uh, wh where's Alaphilippe again? You fuck, he can't hold the wheel! Right, well, Alaphilippe needs to sprint right now because he's way too late. So, um, here we go. We need to give him a bit of an advantage. And now we sprint with, uh, Ballerini. Oh, come on. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Do we get some points? Maybe. I think Alaphilippe did take quite a few, which is the important bit. So let's take a look. Uh, we did get... Yeah, 10 points with Alaphilippe. And then we had... Uh, oh yeah, that wasn't great. 5 points for Ballerini. We are getting close to those um, windy kilometers. And I'm still without water. What are, what are they doing? Why are they going 66 kilometers an hour at the moment? We're not even there just yet. Everyone is just preparing because they magically sense the wind appearing or something. Uh, yeah, because there is no wind at the moment. But anyway, uh, we are currently sitting in a good spot, but my water was like five kilometers behind them. And no, I didn't like send them back to fetch water too late. I did so 15 kilometers ago, which I guess is too late, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> Certainly not too late in real life, but now there's this little incline, and then once we reach the top, we are pretty much clear and get into the windy bit. Oh, Asgren looks like he is making it, just barely. Ooh, is it? Oh, no, it wasn't quite ripping there, but uh, close to. We are now in the windy section and there is no wind. So, good news, I guess. There There's still a weird, weird formation going on. Look at this. This uh, this massive gap here doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they riding closer together? Maybe Kaspar Asgren just needs to go to the front and pull a little. Let, let's, try, let's try that out. It's 85 with his stats. He should be uh, hauling ass. Now let's see. Oh, that's what the others are doing already. One more. Okay, yeah. Alright, not nearly as chaotic as um, the one that we've witnessed before. And, oh, let me see. Where do we have Cavendish and company? Down there. Cav, what are you doing down there? He's certainly not feeling as well as in real life at the moment. So, uh, no, no. Ah, damn it. That was, that was the wrong one. Take position there. So now let's take a quick look at the finishing kilometers so that we don't mess that on up. Uh, ooh, we do have a bit of a technical section there. Uh, a few corners, but then the uh, the actual finish is very much straightforward. Um, I don't know how far that one is away, but it looks like if we are currently at 11 kilometers away, this looks like about 2 kilometers away from the finish. So today I'm going to use Casper as my lead out rider. So he needs to get to the front. And there we are. So now I'm going to attach Ballerini straight behind him. And then uh, Alaphilippe right behind that. And that train length is already getting critical for the wheel holding skills of uh, pro cycling manager riders. So uh, let's, let's not overdo it here with our train. 5.5 kilometers remaining. Pretty much all downhill. So uh, let's... I think pop. I start to pop our gels here, because you never know. We are going to set a decent pace here, so uh, I doubt they will be uh, activating too li uh, too late. Yep, that is one of those corners. I think this is the double corner there. Yep, the double bend, and then we get to this one, and we need to be at the front for that one, and then really kick off the sprint. So let's up the pace a little. Come on, pull out there, Casper. There we go. That's looking better. Let's go to 95. That might be a little too hot, but it's very important for the corner to be there. Yeah, it's getting tight. Okay, they're not slowing down for that one. Um, so a non-corner, a non and that was 2.4 kilometers away from the finish. So uh, let's continue on. Let's go 99. That is still looking okay. We're not losing any red bar just yet. We are in a good position here, 1.8 kilometers away from the finish. And I think he needs to start sprinting now. 
And that should give us a decent-ish kick. Yeah, he's starting to lose a bit there. And now, um, I think it's time to sprint. Let's take a look at the setup. Caleb is there. We have uh, Thunderball there. And Peter Sagan is on Merkov's wheel. Uh, aboard there. Philipson out to the right. Tim Millier is looking like he is going to strike very soon too. But we are a little bit faster still. So I think, uh, yeah, now is the time to kick off the sprint. Oh, almost. Wait another 100 meters. And now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sprint, 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 sprint. And uh, uh, Alaphilippe, you sprint too. And everyone sprints. Where, where's Cav? Cav, sprint, you too. And let's go back. Let's see what happens. Are you ready? It is the last 200 meters of the stage. Here we go. Ballerini. Ballerini. Ballerini takes it. Yes. Yes. In front of Caleb Ewan, our lead out was just too strong. That was good stuff. And another tour stage win is in our portfolio. Nicely done, team. That was a very, very good lead out by Kasper. Of course, there was no time gain in the general classification, so we are still in 6th place. In the overall, for the point standings, we are now 1st and 2nd. Grabbed a few points there, so even without Alaphilippe, we still have 1st place in this one. So, good stuff by uh, Davide here. He had a very nice day. That was a powerful sprint. Mountain points still dominated by Roglic. And second place to Tadej uh, Tade Pogacar and the under 25s. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's move on. And Grenadiers, of course, are still first. Okay, cool. Checking out tomorrow's stage, stage number 13. Pretty flat, but very, very long. Another good sprint finish. Another important one if we want to grab the green jersey. So, all right. Uh, I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. Hey you there. I heard you like cycling games. I think I got something for you here. The Cyclist Tactics is a turn-based strategy game in which you lead a small team of professional cyclists from humble beginnings to competing for the top of the podium in the toughest and most prestigious cycling events in the world. In the highly tactical, procedurally generated races, success comes about when superior decision-making meets careful resource management and planning. Teamwork is essential to keep your leaders protected, avoid peloton pulling duties, create lactate threshold crushing lead outs and to set up your lead rider in perfect position for the final dash. Guide your team's riders as they gain skills and progress from struggling eager novices to monument-winning superstars with a hefty price tag and more flaws than they started with. If you fancy Nuance Tactics, where decision-making is king, follow the game's development and try out the demo.